In this video, you'll see how to target customers intelligently with user segmentation. With this solution, you can analyze behavioral data using machine learning, or ML, segment users based on their preferences, and create targeted messages that resonate with specific customer groups. The solution we're going to demonstrate is detailed in a blog on the AWS website, which you can link to in the description for this video. The solution uses Amazon Personalize to generate highly targeted customer segments in Amazon Pinpoint. Using Pinpoint, we can send messages to those customer segments via campaigns and journeys. This is the high-level architecture of the solution, which is based on two reference architectures, maintaining personalized experiences with machine learning and Amazon S3 triggered endpoint imports. Both of these architectures are deployed as nested stacks along with the main application to showcase how intelligent segmentation and targeted messaging can be implemented by combining Amazon Personalize with Amazon Pinpoint. For the purposes of this demonstration, we have already taken care of the prerequisites needed to deploy the solution. Let's get started. First, let's navigate to the GitHub repository referenced in the blog. We'll download this repository. Next, let's open Windows PowerShell and navigate to the repository from there. Let's clear the screen now that we're in the repository in PowerShell. Next, let's deploy the stack using the AWS Serverless Application Model, or AWS SAM CLI. We'll retain the stack's default name, Contextual Targeting. We'll also use the default region. Let's enter a parameter email that Amazon Simple Notification Service, or SNS, can use to notify us when the Amazon Personalized User Segmentation job is completed. Let's use the defaults for the rest of the settings. We've initiated the deployment of the resources, but both Amazon Personalize and Pinpoint also require data to proceed. Let's return to the blog and take a look at the dataset information. The solution uses an artificially generated movies dataset called BingeWatch for demonstration purposes. The data is already formatted to make it usable in the context of Amazon Personalize and Amazon Pinpoint. For Amazon Personalize, we have three datasets. The interaction dataset describes movie ratings from BingeWatch users. This data represents the behavioral data that Amazon Personalize uses to learn user affinity for movies and movie attributes. The item dataset describes each available movie. The metadata in this dataset helps Amazon Personalize further understand patterns in user affinity. The users dataset contains all known users with artificially generated metadata that describes the user's gender and age. We also have a dataset that maps Amazon Pinpoint endpoints to users in Amazon Personalize using the user ID attribute. Now that we've seen the datasets, let's go back and check on the deployment. The deployment is finished. Let's clear the screen. Next, we'll import some initial and artificially generated endpoints into Amazon Pinpoint by using a command from the blog. Let's clear the screen again. Now we're ready to train our initial user segmentation model with Amazon Personalize. This solution provides us with sample training data as well as a training and inference configuration, which needs to be uploaded into a prescribed S3 bucket. Once again, we'll use a command from the blog. The training workflow will automatically kick off when it detects that the training datasets and configuration have been uploaded. The datasets will be imported into Personalize, an item attribute affinity model will be trained, and a user segmentation job will be created that will create the user segment. When the training workflow is completed, we should receive an email notification. In the meantime, let's take a quick look at the Pinpoint console. Let's refresh the view. Let's quickly check our email. We've been sent an email to confirm that we want to subscribe to the SNS topic we created upon deployment. Let's confirm. Next, let's go back to Pinpoint. We have a project with the default name of Personalize. We can find our customer data under Segments. The customer data we imported is in the Endpoint CSV segment. Next, let's go to Amazon Personalize to make sure our binge watch datasets were successfully imported. Here's our dataset group. Let's drill down. In the Create Datasets section, 
we can see that the interaction data, user data, and item data import is still in progress. Our data is now active. Let's take a look at our solution and solution version. A solution is the configuration of the data sets and an Amazon personalized recipe. A solution version represents a trained model for a solution. The solution version is now active. Notice that we also have a batch segment job. The batch segment job generates user segments based on an input file and a solution version. The input file for this solution produces a segment of users interested in action movies. Now that the deployment has fully completed, we have a segment for customers who have an affinity for action movies based on the rating history. We can use this segment to run campaigns and journeys to engage with these customers. For example, when we have new action movies being released on Binge Watch, we can message users in this segment. Let's view our message templates. Let's take a look at the New Movie Releases template. This email template contains message variables. Amazon Pinpoint replaces each variable with the current corresponding value of the attribute for each recipient. In the message body, the text will be personalized with the user's first name. These placeholder action movie titles can be replaced with titles of actual new action movie releases. We can also enter a default value for situations where the customer has not provided their first name. Next, let's use our segment and template to create a campaign. Let's give the campaign a name. We can run either a standard campaign or an A-B test campaign that compares different message treatments. For our purposes, we'll run a standard campaign. We'll use email as the channel since we've only imported email endpoints to pinpoint. We can use an existing segment or create a new one. In this case, we'll use the segment that was created in our deployment. We'll use the email template we saw earlier. We can select what email address the campaign is sent from. We have the option to send a test email, but for our purposes, let's just continue. Here we can specify when the campaign will be sent. We also have the option to trigger the campaign when a specific event occurs. For this example, we'll send the campaign immediately. We can also set the reference time zone and designate quiet time periods during which messages will not be sent. Let's move on to the next step without editing the campaign settings. We'll review the settings and launch the campaign. Now that we've launched the campaign, let's take a look at our email. The campaign has sent us an email. Let's take a look. Notice that a first name has been dynamically inserted into the template based on our customer data. Let's go back and view the campaign in Pinpoint. Let's take a look at our campaign metrics. Here we can see high-level performance metrics specific to the campaign. We have information on how many messages were sent or delivered, if any links were clicked, and other metrics pertinent to the channel and the campaign's performance. These take some time to populate, depending on how long the email service provider takes to send us events. Now that we've seen a campaign that makes use of a segment, let's create a journey. A journey is a customized multi-step engagement experience. More than one channel can be included in that experience. First, we'll set an entry condition. Customers can be added to a journey after a specific activity or added from a segment. We'll use our segment. Let's save the entry point. Next, we'll add an activity to the journey. Let's review the different types of activity. We can send communications to customers in various ways. We can also wait for a certain period of time or until a specific date. We can also send customers on separate paths based on specific criteria. We can end the journey for a certain percentage of customers or split them up randomly. For this journey, let's send an email. We can choose a template and email address here. We can also enter a description. In this case, let's just save the activity. Let's add a second activity. We'll add a yes-no split. The split can be based on a condition that evaluates a segment or a condition that evaluates an event that took place on that journey. We'll use an event. 
At this point in the journey, the only activity that has taken place is the email activity we added a moment ago. The condition we'll evaluate is whether the email was opened. We'll wait one hour to evaluate this. Now we can add additional activities to each path that branches off from that activity. From this page, it's easy to get started with Amazon Personalize. You've just seen how to target customers intelligently with Amazon Personalize and Amazon Pinpoint. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.